I was pleasantly surprised by the positive feedback I received on the video of transferring a marble pattern to the edge of a book using hydrochloric acid. After all, who would be interested in one of these historical techniques that is of no practical value today? Well, as it turns out, uh, Joel Freeling, who is one of my viewers, uh, did some research on it and even found some more information on this technique. Joel found another version of it in the Bookbinder of 1891 and the International Bookbinder of 1924, where they lay, well, they put some egg glare down, lay the marble paper on that, and then paint muriatic acid over the paper to transfer the edge. Who could resist giving this another go? Now, I don't want everyone watching this video for another five minutes and then being disappointed at the end. So I'm just going to say now that this video doesn't have a happy ending. But I hope you're finding this topic interesting enough that you'll stick around to see what happens. The instructions in the International Bookbinder say to use egg glare a little thicker than used for finishing. At the time, I was thinking they meant the thickness as in the ratio of egg white to water and vinegar. But in hindsight, I think they meant the amount of glare to put down on the surface. Either way, the instructions for making egg glare vary quite dramatically as well. So I decided to do two versions. Uh, one version is a one part egg white to four parts water. And in the second version, it's straight egg white and one teaspoon of vinegar. So I mix those up and then let them sit overnight and then strain them the next day. Then I prepared the edge the same as I did in the last video on the subject. So I ploughed the edge, then uh, scraped it with the cabinet scraper, and then sanded it with some 320 grit sandpaper. The instructions say, now lay on the paper with marbled surface to the edge of the book and with a brush apply the muriatic acid on the back of the marbled paper until the figures of the marbling are quite plainly discernible on the back of the paper. Then apply a damp piece of old newspaper or some soft paper and rub or pound out with your hand all the wrinkles that may have formed in the edge paper. Now pull off your paper and the marble will be found on the edge of the book. So in this case, I've used the straight egg white with vinegar as the glare. And I did this a number of times and no matter how long I waited, the marble pattern never showed through the paper. So here's the moment of truth. Bummer. I did this a number of times and this was the best result I got. Before I made the first video, the first tests I did before I went near the edge of a book was just on paper and I tried lots of variations and that's what I decided to go back and do. So I went back and tried the different types of glare. I tried doing it without glare. I tried uh, just wetting the surface. I tried the different types of marbled paper again. I tried letting the acid soak in for ages and ages 
and in every single case it failed. In the first video I had extremely low expectations and I was absolutely delighted when it worked. Now this time around I had really high expectations and now I'm really disappointed that it hasn't worked. Now there mightn't be a lesson in bookbinding in this but I think there is a lesson in life. My working theory as to why it didn't work is that modern paper is buffered so much that it neutralizes the acid. Until next time, cheerio.